Family and friends welcome home a Nashville kid who was nearly killed by a hit and run driver. As News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen shows us, the 12 year old has made incredible strides, but still has a long road to recovery ahead. In March, Jay Pfizer was fighting for his life after he was struck by a driver on Richmond Hills Drive in Madison while riding his bike. He was in a medically induced coma due to a severe brain injury. He has a, a cut. It's about three inches in the back of his head, so he had staples there. He had a pelvic, um, he broke his pelvic bone and everything. Today, Jay was able to run to see his family for the first time in months after leaving a rehabilitation center in Atlanta. Oh, it's so surreal that he's standing here looking so handsome. Jay's mom, Erica Pfizer, says he still has a long road ahead. It's called post-traumatic amnesia. And so he forgets stuff and he has very short attention span. And that's his favorite cousin. He hasn't seen him. Jay was all smiles when he got to see some of his friends. Thankful. He looks forward to going back to school one day and he misses playing football. Rehab, yes, it's going to be two to three times a week. He'll be doing um, occupational therapy, physical therapy and um, speech therapy. Erica hopes by sharing Jay's story that others will be careful when driving around kids who are on their bikes. For now, she'll focus on helping Jay as he adapts to a new normal. We're blessed. Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. Metro Police arrested Devonte Hall in connection to that hit and run at the end of March. He is facing multiple charges, including leaving the scene of an injury crash and driving on a revoked license.